What's up, bestie? It's your girl Melissa, and I'm back with another video. Before you go any further, you know the drill. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what other videos you like to see from me. But let's jump right into this video. I'm gonna talk to you guys about budgeting while still looking good. I think that people have this misconception in order to look good, you have to spend a lot. And that's really not the case. I have a video, go check it out. I'm gonna put it up right here about um, all the things I got for a hygiene um, haul at Target. But it cost me $100 for just a couple of things. But my thing is, you don't have to go to Target to get things. You can literally, let me tell you, Maybe now I'm going to Target, but back then I used to be at the Dollar Tree, Family Dollars, wherever I can go, I will go because that's where I just had to go. You know what I'm saying? I was living paycheck to paycheck. I wasn't making enough, but I was still like this girly girl. I had an image to keep up. Whatever the case may be, whatever it was, what it is, whatever it is for you. But I want you to know that you can look good on a budget. Shop at the dollar store. If you guys need me to show you exactly what to get at the dollar store or what to get at certain places, like you can literally go to the thrift store. First of all, nobody need to know your business. What I what you guys need to understand is you wear the clothes, the clothes don't wear you. I used to shop at the thrift store and people will think that I got my clothes from some high-end store whole time I got it from the thrift store so don't live beyond your means trying to impress people that don't even care when you can do it on a budget you're gonna go to the dollar store you're gonna buy makeup from the dollar store yes you are yes you are you're gonna go to the dollar store and then you're going you're gonna go to the thrift store you're gonna buy clothes from the thrift store you gotta wash them clothes just wash them yes you are yes you are Third thing you're gonna do is, well, no, second thing that you're going to do is you're gonna do everything at home. Stop paying them now, people. Press-ons. Press-ons are $5, $8, $9. If you don't, if you can't afford a press-on, you're gonna go get yourself a dollar nail polish. You're going to buy a little nail filer for a dollar, and you're gonna file your nails, and you're gonna apply the nail polish and you're gonna keep applying it until you ain't got no more baby but if you can't afford some nail uh some press-on nails you're gonna buy those press-on nails and you're gonna learn how to apply those press-on nails and you're gonna be an expert at it okay these are press-on nails press-on nails because going to the nail shop when you don't have it is taking out of what could have went towards a bill. You're gonna do everything at home, even if it takes two hours. I'm telling you what you're gonna do because y'all don't be listening for real. Um, you're gonna do it at home. You're gonna do your. You're gonna learn how to do your lashes at home. You're gonna buy some lash clusters. You're gonna learn how to do it yourself. You're going to um learn how to get a wig you do your wigs by yourself if you don't have money for a wig you're gonna sit down and learn how to braid your own hair like so many things are on social media for you guys there's no excuse you don't have any excuse to make as far as to learn a new skill you don't have the money to get a wig first of all let's be clear you can get wigs from amazon you don't gotta get the most expensive wigs okay baby you gonna get a human hair wig from Amazon. You don't have to order it where everybody else orders it. If you can't afford a wig, then yes, go to the, go to the hair store. Get the cheapest hair, but make sure that that hair you can put at least um heat in it so that it can look good. If you can't afford to buy a wig or hair, I recommend braids. Braids, it'll last you a good month or two, depending how long you want to stretch it. And that saves you money from having to um, 
keep buying wigs and all the time so yes and you're gonna find the cheapest braider okay because they're charging four hundred dollars for braids now i don't even know what's going on anymore but you're gonna find the cheapest braider and if you can't do that then wear your natural hair you're gonna wear your natural hair you're gonna find the hairstyle that works for you the hairstyle that fits you you have to work with yourself you're beautiful okay money yes money may enhance certain things yes money can make you look better i'm not gonna lie however money is not the end all be all you work with whatever you have because down the line you are gonna get the money down the line you are gonna be able to do more but work with what you have right now listen i used to work with what i have okay work with what you have all of this stuff, my wigs, I do it by myself. My nails, I still do it by myself. Like, when I feel like I don't have it, I sit my happy behind home and I do these things by myself. Here's some budgeting tips. Really, it's really hard to give people who are living paycheck to paycheck budgeting tips because what's there to budget? If I have a dollar left after I pay my bills, do I spend that dollar? Like, what am I supposed to do? I would say if you have a dollar left out of that bill, you save 10 cents. You save 10 cents, you put it to the side. I recommend if you are living the paycheck to paycheck, don't limit yourself. I think sometimes we have a limited mentality um, where we feel like, okay, this is it. You know, I'm at this job, this is it for me gonna retire here i'm never gonna make enough first of all you have to change your mindset too you have to know that you're worth more and you are going to make enough even if it seems hard even if it takes you a year to look for that job you're gonna look for that job and you're gonna apply 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 and get a new job a job that pays you more so that you can um provide so you can provide for your family so you can live but if you are able to at least save money um i recommend putting at least five dollars aside every time you get paid put something aside let's not eat out so much let's cook let's let the food last three days when we cook let's not spend money on things that we don't need to spend money on sometimes you have to say no to those eating out plans because it's just not worth it because you know at the end of the day you have a goal and until you get to that goal nothing can compromise that so let's not eat out as much as we eat out let's not waste money on things like lashes and our nails when we can do it at home ourselves so that's all i have on that end um let me know if you want to know any more budgeting tips maybe i can dive deeper into things but that's pretty much it for me I love you guys. Hopefully this was helpful. Until next time. Bye. I bought, I bought, I bought. I